During our late evening hours and overnight tonight. Our day planner shows that the clouds will be increasing for this evening, reaching a high temperature of 45 degrees for today at 4 p.m. and by 7 p.m. this evening, dropping back to about 42 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Now tonight we have an overnight low of 39 degrees. It is going to be quite warm in comparison to what we've seen the past couple of nights and the chance for some rain does develop overnight. All day tomorrow we are going to see warmer temperatures. Highs are actually going to be back into the upper 50s. 50s, feeling like nearly a heat wave here in West Michigan because of the cold air that we've seen the past couple of days, but we will have along with it the chance for some rain and stronger winds. Our future track shows that low pressure system inching its way closer throughout our late evening hours. Clouds will develop overnight, bringing the chance early sun Wednesday morning rather for a few light showers. Now that's going to continue all day long because of that low pressure system on the back end of the system. After the cold front passes, colder air will be sweeping in on the back end, allowing for the chance for some lake effect rain and snow on Thursday and Friday. So taking a look at our winds and accompaniment with the rain and potentially even the snow, it's going to be quite breezy throughout the rest of your Wednesday hours. The winds shift coming from the northwest and then the west throughout the day on Thursday, really producing the chance for that lake effect. So as for our seven day outlook, we're going to see a high temperature of 45 degrees for today, 57 degrees on Wednesday, finally welcoming in that warmer air, but along with with it, the chance for some rain and stronger winds. When it comes to the amount of precipitation, it isn't going to be much, but locations closer to I-94 could see potentially just less of an inch, a slightly over half an inch of rainfall that's going to be moving through parts of West Michigan. Colder air sweeps in on Thursday. That's where we do have the chance for potentially some lake effect rain and snow, especially during the early morning hours where our temperatures are going to be dropping. We can see that within our upper level air pattern and the colder air sweeping in, allowing for the chance for that snow to take over. The good news is that we're not expecting a whole lot of accumulation. High temperatures will return to the lower 40s for Friday and Saturday with a chance of rain and snow again by next Monday.